Hey guys, it's Chris from the Nice Garage, and this is another installment on my golf cart, the G cart. Uh, basically, I picked up this um, power inverter off of Amazon. Uh, I had a lot of good reviews. There's the part number up here. Uh, this will take from 48 volt or 36 volt. My cart happens to be a 48 volt. Uh, it'll take it down to 12 volt for accessories. Uh, I plan on running this dash as you've seen in the last video uh, with a Kenwood head unit and I got some Kenwood marine speakers. Um, actually here's one right here. Just so you know this cover doesn't come off. I wanted to paint these red and I thought this was a cover like uh, an automotive speaker where it has a cover. Um, I tried pulling it off. It looks like the, the tweeter might be part of it. So I'm not really going to try and pry it apart and there wasn't any instructions with it. Uh, so I'll look online. Maybe it does come apart. Maybe it doesn't. But either way, uh, I'll figure out a way to paint it. I want to paint it red. The card's going to be uh, gray with red accents. But this, uh, this power converter is 30 amp. Um, the picture shows it's blue on Amazon. Obviously, it's not blue. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to mount it under the seat with the batteries. And then um, what it is is this black wire connects to the battery, the grounds on one end. The yellow connects to the positive on the other end. This green connects to the switch uh, that turns the golf cart, the power on. This is an electric cart, obviously. Um, Red is for power and accessories, and it has a blue wire uh, to retain memory uh, for the radio. It it will be a parasitic loss, but it's a drain, but it's very, very little, so I don't think it's going to cause an issue. Um, what else I got from Amazon was um, this little um, fuse block. See if I can get the no, no, I don't have the part number on there. But um, anyway, it has one stem, so I'm gonna take a, a wire from the red, connect it to this stem, and I can get six accessories. Which I'm gonna have radio, I'm gonna have under lights, um, I have a headlight and tail light kit, and then you know I'll have anything else I want to add to it. Uh, like I said, this power inverter is good for 30 amps. I don't know if I'm ever gonna draw anything like that with LEDs I'm only putting two speakers on in a radio and um, so uh, beware if you buy this I noticed um, they're screw terminals which I wanted I didn't want spade terminals I wanted the screw terminals but they're bare at the bottom so if you would mount this to something metal um, it's pretty close it's hard to see it might be hard to see but if you would screw those down any tighter, it would get real close to metal. So I'm probably going to take some hot glue and hot glue the bottom of these. And I may even mount it to fiberglass so I don't have to worry about it. So, and from what I read on some of the reviews, these LED lights are connected all the way through. So they're to show when something, um, when a fuse trips, I might just take them out of the equation altogether just seems like it's more um, I don't know I'll play around with it but just wanted to show you guys uh, the power supply reliance it's a nice it's feels like quality I mean it was a little bit more expensive than the other ones actually a lot more but it feels like a really good quality piece I'm sure it's gonna last and some of the other ones that are say they're rated for 30 amp really weren't rated for 30 amp as some of the users um, found out so I figured I'd go with this one spend a little bit more money have a quality part comes with instructions shows you what to do with those wires all right if you guys have any questions or comments please leave them thanks and I look forward to another video thanks